So thank you, uh, Professor Ahuja, Prashpendra, Sudarshan for making this possible. As we had uh, envisaged a very interesting uh, revolution in education by trying to give a state of the art degree, the BS data science and programming is as important today as a BTEC in computer science and engineering. <coughs> A state of the art degree to masses. People who aspire to come to IIT, who could not come to IIT for various reasons, now we give them an opportunity. We have 30,000 students there, and we have reached a stage where these students are reaching the final year. Now it's now they are reaching the third year. Now we want to give them an opportunity to do higher education in premier institutions like the IITs and that is where we were exploring opportunities of how we can make that higher education possible and that is where Professor Ahuja actually had taken this wonderful step in collaborating with IIT Madras. They are very very happy this occasion marks a big turning point in the way IITs will work together. Uh, two things have happened. One is Sudarshan's uh, contribution to the IIT Madras data science course. He has been a teacher right from uh, the inception. And as Professor Ahuja mentioned, he's one of the well, well, uh, you know, recognized uh, teacher, uh, a great teacher. Thank you, Sudarshan. Thank you, IIT Roper, for permitting Sudarshan. So these young faculty are actually contributing across IITs, not just from IIT Madras, are contributing to the teaching aspect of this PS data science course. Now, what is happening because of this MOU? The students who are pursuing BS data science and have completed the third year can go one year to IIT Roper and they can spend the last year in IIT Roper. They can take the courses physically that is offered in IIT Roper. They will also do a project there and those credits will be transferred to the BS data science program and we will be giving them a BS data science degree based on the credits that they have earned in IIT Roper. In addition, if they perform to a level of expectation, then IIT Roper will give them admission to the master's program, MS program without gate and that is the most important thing. So they need not write gate but they can go with the performance, last year's performance, IIT Roper will be providing them admission to their MS program. Do well in the MS program, obviously they can graduate to a PhD program. So through this, we are now enabling a good higher education career for our master's student. So IIT Roper has made the debut now and uh, we are starting with them and I hope more IITs will join. And already uh, many students are basically getting admissions to international universities. And this is now a very uh, uh, important MOU wherein the students get a great opportunity to get into uh, IITs after their undergraduation. And so first of all, thank you all of you, especially inviting us at uh, IIT Madras. And uh, I will say this is not my first visit. And uh, so I've been here and before joining as a director of IIT also at that time I was living in Sweden. So I have seen the way how IIT Madras is doing and making the changes in the, not only in India, but in the, the changing the perspective of digital education, especially outside India also. So people know that uh, what the courses are given by uh, IIT Madras on, on a digital level. For example, one example is a BS in data science and I don't think any such program exists in, in, in India where we are enrollment of, are almost 30,000 who are taking the, this BS program here in IIT Madras. And this is opportunity for those also who are not, who cannot join IIT Madras or any IIT system. So they have this opportunity to associate themselves with the IIT system. And we are very proud that uh, uh, we are uh, going to have an association with IIT Madras. Although we are not that old as IIT Madras, we are one of the young generation IIT. I, al I always call ourselves as young generation IIT. I don't call second generation IIT. <laughs> so, uh, so this is uh, the way 
how a old institution and young institution can work together and uh, with the energy of the young institution and the expertise of the older institution how they can make a difference in education so that's uh, the takeaway point from the from this kind of collaboration and as you know that uh, uh, what we are going to do under this uh, mou basically the student who are graduating or taking the bs uh, course, uh, program here in iit madras if they want to do ms program they will do it uh, at uh, iit roper and this they will spend one year in iit roper so that's a good thing uh, also they can have experience for both young and old institution the way they work and how they work actually that will give a different perspective to the student also uh, comparing the old institution and the younger institution in younger institutions our problems are different and older institutions our problems are different and uh, how you combine this expertise of these two institutions that's uh, very very important and we can uh, say that uh, when we talking about data science and courses and actually we always say talk about ai and data science and who has the most of the data in the world is india india is sitting on the gold mine of the data and we have to be clever and we should not miss this bus and that we should be the leader in ai and data science around the world so we should be leader